Eastern time. Today we are making kangaroos. I had a special request for kangaroos. A couple, actually a couple of people have asked me to do some kangaroos. So that's what we are doing this week. So let me flip the screen and we will get started. There we go. Turn that one around and we're just gonna get started. So let me know if you can see the image. I'm gonna pull up the image on my computer and we will get started. So let me just have a look, go to the live page. Here we are. And hi, Amber, first one on. Aw, oh, thank you so much. And let me just adjust this so we'll make sure that we're on the screen. That's better, bring that over here. Dropping my wire and uh, hi Mirta, hi Alan. This was a special request recently from Debbie, who asked, or I don't know, if she asked me to make these, or she mentioned something about kangaroos. But um, I thought I'll go for that this week. We're gonna see how it goes, and as always, I'll grab my tools. Oh, and I also wanted to show you guys the finished sun catcher from the jungle. So let me show you that. So this is the finished sun catcher with the jungle scene. I did two live streams and a video to finish up the parrot and the flowers and the snake. So I'll link up those in the description below, all of those fun things in the sun catcher. And I have a template in the Etsy DIY shop. So there we go. And always these templates are available about 24 hours after the live stream. You can pick them up. They're only a buck for these regular weekly live streams. And um, if you buy five or more templates, you get 25% off with the save 25 coupons. So I will um, link that in the description to do uh, to below. Uh, hi, Lulu from Arizona. Cool. Kangaroos. Yeah, so let's just get started. How I like to get started with this is just grabbing some 20 gauge wire. Keep it simple. And um, we can just, I'm gonna get just the gold 20 gauge wire and just do one of the simpler ones and then we could go from there. So if you guys are wondering about the templates, um, I get a lot of the ideas on Canva Pro, which is my graphics program, but then I translate the image into wire. So to be able to draw it with one piece of wire, so that's the goal. And, uh, and, then, um, and then I trace the templates. So we could tr start with something like that, maybe. That one you could actually even do with 18 gauge wire or 20. Uh, maybe we'll try the 18 for that just for fun and uh, make sure it's not too stiff. Yeah, here's a good, we'll use this 20 gauge or 18 gauge wire for that. So how much wire are you going to need? Well, we can maybe eyeball it. Like there's about that much there and then you've got the tail and then you've got like the both sides of the leg and then about that amount and then you know for the arms so i'm just really eyeballing it so you're going to need at least say 18 to 20 inches and i'm going to cut it i always cut it longer than i think i need i prefer to have it too long than too short and then if you are using the templates you can just follow them. So maybe I'll end up finishing it up here, or you might want to finish it on the back. If you want it more balanced, you might want to center where you finish it there. So in that case, maybe we'll just go ahead and then do the ear and go work our way around. So I'm going to get the flat pliers and we're going to go around here. So let me know in the comments what you guys are working on wire wise. If you're working on some wire art or jewelry projects, and uh, I'm always interested to see what you guys and hear what you guys are doing. And then of course you can share pictures in the Wire Makers Club uh, on Facebook. So a lot of people share their work in there. We've got a nice group of people in there. Big group now, very big group. So if you're not already a member, you can join the Wire Makers Club and share your wire art and jewelry pictures. So this one, we're just gonna make sure it's more or less the same size. And sometimes, often I'll just freehand this, but I do wanna show you guys how to follow the patterns. So basically you put it on the template and then do your little strategic bends. And if you don't bend it in the right place, you can always adjust it and bring it back again. 
and we're just going to go around and do this. So now this one goes down and around. So we're going to go out and around and then up and back. So up this way and back. Thank you, Amber. So Amber just shared the link to the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. So if you are on Facebook and you want to join the club, that would be awesome. It's a nice, uh, it's a private Facebook group. So, um, so there are some questions you have to answer before you come in the group, just to make sure we stay on track with wire art and jewelry. And there's no selling or any of the stuff like that. So there we go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring this one to the back up here. That's for the front arm. We're going to bring this one over here and then do a kind of a shoulder thing. I could get these round pliers for that. Bring it around and down here. I'm actually teaching jewelry making tonight in person, which is fun at the Viva Vida Art Gallery in Montreal. So if you're in Montreal and ever want to do in-person classes, uh, you can definitely message me and I'll let you know when we're going to be having more classes. So this is a class that my friend who owns the gallery uh, offers called Creative Sampler. So every week there's a different project, which is really cool. So last week we did painting, this week we're doing jewelry making. So there's all kinds of um, really cool stuff to be learned and a nice variety. So for people that don't have a lot of art background, it's a nice, it's a nice idea. So now we're getting towards the back. I'm going to bring this one around, maybe bend it up and around here. Maybe it has to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to compare it and see how it goes. So we're going to bring this one against here. Uh, didn't quite work out. We had to push this one up a bit, I think. Yeah, so we're going to bring this one around here and up. And then this one, we're just going to straighten it out a little bit more. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to bring this one down and then bend that one out. I'm going to bend that one out here and bring this one over here and then trace it. So um, kangaroos have really big back feet, so that's to help them spring. So we're going to, going to bring that one across here. Hi, Temi, how are you? And we're going to put this one here and then do the rest of the foot. You can simplify it or do it like that. Just did a little jog in the foot there. And then bring this one. I also have my thinner round pliers. We're gonna bring that one this way and then around. So what have we got here? We've got this coming down here. And then if you wanna do a little loop there to go towards the tail, you can, you don't have to, you can just leave it pretty simple. We're just gonna bring that bring that one around here so that's in the right place and then the tail's quite long so we're gonna bring that one out here and then bend it back on itself and then after this one I want to try to do one with the baby so we're gonna do that next happy International Women's Day awesome yes happy International Women's Day to all the ladies uh, to join us all after Connie yes um, hello, I didn't think I would get to watch today. Oh, yay, I'm glad you're here. Nice, Connie. Hi, Linda. So there we go. We're going to bring this one around. And then we just have to finish up, decide where we want to finish off the back. So I'm going to bring it here, bring this one around, loop it around, and then deciding at what point is the center point for this. So I'm thinking maybe between these the, the back and the front, maybe a little bit more towards the back. I'm gonna bend that straight up here. And then this one, we want to form this down and around. So we're gonna just figure out where this one's gonna go. This one got a little bit kinked there, but that's okay. We're gonna bring it down and start to curve it out a little bit here and see where we're at. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get that one there and this one here. So now we can place it, the whole thing down on the template. Bring this one up here. Looks like that's a good position. 
So we can help it out there. We can just bring that one up straight up and that should be good. So now we can remove that. Whoops, we got two papers. So this one I did with 18 gauge wire. So it is pretty thick. Head looks a little small, but that's okay. So it's always better to help it out with these pliers. I definitely overcompensated for the wire. I cut it a little bit too long, but that's okay. Oh, this isn't gonna snap. I feel like I snapped the wire a little bit, but it should be all right. It's thicker, it's thick enough. Sometimes if you pinch it too much with the pliers and they're thin pliers, they can actually snap through the wire. So you wanna be careful of that. So we've got that attached. And then here, you can leave it plain, or if you want to make it fancy, you can add a bead. So these are my beads. I, these are my favorite beads. I put them all in, you know, there's four millimeter miracle beads, there's glass faceted beads, there's six millimeter beads, and eight millimeter beads. These are the ones I use mostly for my work. And we can just put a little crystal on there. So I have a few fun little crystals look through those and see what I have. This one too, green, so many, so many crystals. I'm gonna see if I have some nice shiny ones. I have blue ones. This is where, you know, it's hard to decide. That one's a little dark. Oh, this one's mixed in, shouldn't be there. Oh no, that one should go over there. That was a six millimeter miracle bead. Those miracle beads I use a lot. So let's move this one over and I'll just put either the purple one or the amber one. You can put a few, you can put a few beads on there. That one's a little bit small, but um, you could definitely, if you say, say you wanna do like a little sun catcher or something, you can add a few beads on there if you want. Let's just see what we have here. Maybe we can get a little, a bunch of beads, purple. Let's see what's gonna fit on the wire. Cause the 18 gauge wire is a little bit on the, um, thick side. That one's a little dark. Let's try this one, that one, that one. <coughs> Let's put that one on here. If I can get it on here. I used to have some more pale, uh, pale miracle beads as well. I think I just like the crystals. Let's just put the crystal on there. Keep it uh, very simple. If I had some gold beads, it would be cute too. Sometimes it's nice to put in a little accent bead with like an accent gold bead. It's not gold. That's a, oh, that's the one I was looking for. It's more of a kind of a faceted bead. There we go. Here's some gold. These are all my random, random beads here. So let me try that one. This is the one I was looking for. It was, it's more of a sort of a, it's hard to tell. Like there you can tell it's kind of faceted and this type of thing. I like, I like that kind of gold bead as well. That's kind of nice. And then other than that, what's this one? This one's like a white, whitish purple bead. Let's try that one. Yeah, I mean, the sky is the limit for that. I'm just going to do that many beads. And then for that, for the, after that, you can cut this to about half an inch. And uh, there we go. We're gonna take this, bend it back and around. So that is our first little, very simple kangaroo, super cute. And let's see what we can do next. I do wanna do one with the babies. So there's a few possibilities. This one was, I was thinking you could do a little funny one and then almost stick the baby inside or just get it to stick up. So that's cool. Why don't we try one like that and then another one with like a little more sophisticated. So let's try that guy. I'm gonna get some 20 gauge wire this time because we don't want it too big. So I will get the 20 gauge gold. So cute, thank you. So now let's get some 20 gauge. Probably gonna need quite a bit because there's quite a bit of detail. I definitely have to get some more wire. I'm gonna to have to contact Beadalon and get a little bit more wire because I'm going through this wire very quickly. And I think what I'll do is start in the middle, work my way down, and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and start here and do an eye. 
We're gonna make a cartoony eye. So let's go ahead and take this, bring this one around, and I'm gonna do like a little circle to make a cartoony eye is like a double eye. So we have a, where you see the pupil, it looks more cartoon-like. So we're gonna see if we can succeed with that. Bring that one around. Okay, so that would be, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's more of a cartoony eye, which is like a double eye. And whatever with the baby question mark. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but uh, there we go. So we're gonna bring this one over to do the nose. And then if you want it more or less the same size, you can measure it up against that. So we have that. And then you can try to do the little mouth thing. I don't know how much detail we're gonna get on this, but you could try. You could bring this one up and then down. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I should get my uh, tweezer nose pliers for this. Let me grab the other tweezer nose pliers. They're a little bit thinner. Let's see what we can do with that. There we go. So we have these are on tweezer nose pliers and we can see if that's gonna work. And we might not be able to get that mouth very well, but thing is you don't know unless you try. So let's just try it. I'm gonna bring this one across. Be very careful not to, yeah, it doesn't look super good, but we'll try it. We're gonna bring that one in a little bit. So it looks a little bit like a mouth. This wire's quite soft too. So if we bring that one in here, maybe turn it in a little bit more. Kinda of looks like a shoe. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna try that and then bring it down for the chest. So we've got that, mama kangaroo and baby kangaroo, yes. And Ellen loves it, thank you. So we're gonna do this down here and try to do, bring that out again a bit. And then for this, if we wanna do the hands so we can I'm really not sure how much detail we're gonna get with this, but we're gonna try. So if we do wanna do the fingers, we're gonna bring this up. And, and then bring it back on itself. Cause I think we are not gonna be able to get much detail if we put it back and forth. So if we do that, put it back on itself. I probably should have done this a little bit bigger because I really don't know how much detail we're gonna get. So we're gonna bring that one there. And then, tweezer nose pliers, bring it back on itself. Um, I just had an idea how we probably could have done this more with a loopy thing, like I've done I've definitely done kind of monkey paws like this before where you do more of a spring thing, but I'm slightly invested in doing it this way. So let's just keep going with it. Try not to break it, bring it around. So these make like little, little paws type of thing. Yeah, I could have easily done this with the spring technique and I think I'll do that for the next hand just because it's gonna be easier. So this is the one kind of hand and then we're going to bring it down and out so we've got this so far and now we're going to do the leg but I want to leave more space for the baby so I'm going to bring this one down maybe make it a little bit taller put the hands there maybe just a little bit up and we're going to bring that one out and then the feet see if we want to do the feet like I said, with the with the um, the spring method or the the coil method, let me grab a scrap of tape of a wire. I have some sixteen gauge wire that I'll just grab out of here. There we go. It's on my floor. So we're gonna grab some sixteen gauge wire and to form those toes more easily than bending the wire back and forth. 
we're just going here let me remove that to show you so i'm going to take this here and hold it in place you can always start it with your pliers so you want to know the the length because sometimes it does get distorted when you wind it so you can start it bend it back so you have a starting point and then we're just going to get the uh, coiling wire like 16 gauge hold it on there and just go around two three okay and then you have very simple funny looking toes okay and then we can always they look like that so we can maybe twist them to the side a bit I'm gonna see we're gonna go like that and like that and like that very stylized so that's an easier way to do the toes to give them that kind of rounded effect but yet it's not as hard as doing the back and forth thing if you guys get what i'm saying so we're going to bring this one down and you can push these together a little more if they're too close together so we can push them together a little bit more and it's okay if it's a little uneven. So we're gonna bring it here and then bend this back here. I'm really hoping we're not gonna run out of wire. Bring this one around here. Oops, wrong one. We're gonna go over here and then bring this one around to the back. Oh, that looks cool. So that looks really cool, actually. I don't know if you could see that, but that looks like the, that kind of looks like the leg. But now I'm going to come around with this wire because I really don't want to run out of wire. So now I'm going to come up and do the ears. So we're going to bring this one up and then flat pliers to bring it straight up. There. And uh, Zenith, hello from Turkey. Very nice. I've been to Istanbul many moons ago to see my friend Mine, who now lives out west but my friends Mine and Eftal are from Turkey and I met them selling jewelry on the streets of Montreal in 1989 so that's a long time ago so now we've done this funky little ear and if you want them to have that impression with just a single line in between them we're going to bend this back straight back and then pinch it. I have fluff in my fingernail. I'm not quite sure why. Get that fluff out. Hmm. Looks like it's from my gloves or something. I'm not sure. A sweater maybe. So there we've got that. And now, and for new people that don't know, a tree sap girl is Amber. Amber is one of the moderators on my channel. And the queen that does the timestamps for my videos. I super appreciate that. And a dear friend. So Amber, thank you for all the work you do to help um, everybody and support everybody in the Wire Makers Club and on YouTube here. So super appreciate that. Big, big thank you to Amber and a big shout out. So, and I appreciate you being here because I know you have a busy household with your doggy daycare so i do appreciate you taking the time to come midday to help us out with this and if ever you have to check out to check on the babies the little fur babies you just no problem at all so we're going to come down here bring this one around and then we want to do the other the other um hand so now let's try to do the other coiling technique instead it's going to be a little bit easier. So we can make sure that this kind of neck area is defined. Bring this one around and we can start it around here. Let's bring it to the back, I guess. And I just want to make sure it's in the right position. Should be okay. So let's try it this way rather than the other way. I think it's going to be slightly easier. So I've just started, if you guys can see, I've just started that bend with the pliers and then I'm going to get my round thing again. Yes, Amber is super kind and very generous of her time. Uh, so Zenith, Zenith says, I'm fine. I took a class break. Cool. That's fun. Well, thank you for coming on your break. 
I'm good, yeah. It's uh, getting to be springtime, nice warm day. Today in Montreal, things are starting to thaw, which is nice. Oh, and this one, I'm gonna just do three little springs here. I'm gonna bring this one up. So we have, rather than doing the how we did it here, we just did this more spring method. I think it's gonna be easier. And now from that, if if you've gone too far with it, you can always backtrack it a bit. That's always a possibility. And then bring this one um, in this way, uh, in this way a bit. Just trying to access that and bring that that way. And then we're going to, if you wanna spread these out a little bit, you can too. I'm not gonna to worry too much about them. We're gonna bring this one around and curve it around to make the other paw. It looks kind of funky, it's very stylized. You can open this up a little bit if you want. There we go. And bring that one around, perfect. So we're gonna bring that one around here, round and round. Oh, Mimi's leaving, bye Mimi. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mimi's just going to the post office for me. I super appreciate that. And uh, there we go. I'm gonna go to go and take my break later. So here's the little the little um, paws for the mama, if you can see that. And then now, uh, hi April. Nice. Perfect. So now we're gonna take this one around here and then measure so it's around the same position as that one. So let's just start the bend here. We're gonna see if it's a good height. We can always bring it down a little bit more. And again, you can measure it up here and start the bend with your pliers. And as we did before, we'll just bend it to the back. Okay, so now we've got, it's looking really cute guys, very cartoony. And we're gonna go ahead and get our 16 gauge wire again. Uh, April, did I miss something from April? Uh, is this an advanced project? Yeah, this is definitely an advanced project. I have a lot of very beginner tutorials on my channel. Uh, this type of project is, I usually um, kind of free form it and I also have these templates. You could try to trace them and follow along. You might want to practice a bit with the wire first, but it really helps to have a template to go by uh, for sure. And keep in mind, I have 30 years of experience, so don't get discouraged. These live streams are made for slightly more inter um, intermediate projects, but um, they're definitely doable if you go slow and, and trace the patterns type of thing. But I have so many different tutorials on my channel, different levels. I have Tip Tuesday tutorials, which are giving you little tips and tricks for making jewelry. So, uh, so much available and then never hesitate to ask any questions as well, because if you have any questions about jewelry making, I can answer them on YouTube or you can email me at info at heatherboydwire.com uh, for any other questions. So now I'm just going to twist this one a little bit and uh, keep in mind these projects I do on the live stream, I've never made them before. So I am troubleshooting using ideas and techniques that I've learned over the years. So here's the foot and now we're going to bring this one back to form the upper leg we're going to bring this one back here push that in place and uh and amber's right you can actually watch these replays on slow speed you can change the playback settings and watch everything in slow speed if it's easier if you've missed something and i always put post photos of the finished work in the community section so you can see how it looks when it's finished and if you did want to make it and need the templates, you can purchase the templates in my Etsy uh, DIY shop. So, so many options. So here's, he's just cute. She's just cute as is. I'm, I'm almost afraid to add the uh, baby, but we're going to try. We're going to see how it goes. So it turned out pretty well similar to this. 
Uh, the tail, I haven't really got a chance to do yet because the tail we could have put towards the back. In fact, we could still do the tail. Like, we're here, we're at this spot. We may as well do the tail. Um, otherwise, we could get the tail to sit below, but I don't think I want it sitting below the um, the kangaroo. So just to do like a little stylized tail, it might look silly, but we're just gonna try it. So we can bring this one up and curve it around. So that's going to be the tail. I hope I'm not gonna run out of wire. And then we're just going to bend this back on itself and see how it goes. Pamular, hello, nice to see you. It's been a hot minute. Awesome that you're here. Happy spring. So now this is just gonna be the tail. It's kind of funky looking, but it's just to give a slight impression of the tail. And then we're gonna bend this back on itself. Okay, we're gonna bend this one back here, bring this one back here, and that should be good. Okay, bring this one back, bend it a little bit. Okay, so there is our kangaroo so far, and now we wanna to try to do the baby in there. So I think I'll gonna, I'm gonna use this longer wire. We're gonna bring this one down form it around and then we can do bring it around to form the pouch so this can bring it around here it this the picture is more rounded there so I think I like the look of that looking rounded so we're going to bring this one around I just really hope I have enough wire because that would come back here after and I don't want it too big, I don't want it too small. That's the trouble. So say this is there, that would look like that. That should be pretty good. You can go down a bit. So then we have to do this bend at a, at a place that we actually have room for the kangaroo. So I might have to put it a little lower. I might have to make it a little bigger. Oh, thank you, Pamela. That's so sweet of you. Uh, artists with wire and drawings and paintings. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I love I love painting and drawing. I was teaching watercolor last night at the Viva Vida Art Gallery, and everybody made such beautiful things. So really, really nice. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this one across. I don't want to put it too high. If anything, I'd rather put it too low than too high, so we have room for the baby. I might have to make the baby a little bit more stylized so that um, I can actually fit, fit it in. So there's that. And to do the little uh, paws, I'm gonna have to bend it uh, up, I guess, up, and then do these little oval kind of paw things. Try to make them as small as possible. Up and then around that way. And then we're gonna do another one up and then around this way and then that way. These are just his little paws. Um, but I also probably should wait uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of when I should do the actual body of the, of the kangaroo. I think I have, now I'll have to go up here. So those are the two paws. Could have maybe been a little closer together. I'm going to see if we can move them a little closer. Hmm. Yes, they maybe could have done a little closer together for those paws. I'm gonna see if I can move them a little bit closer. I just don't want to break the wire either. So I'll try to move it over a little bit. It's not too, too bad. And then now we have to form the face. We're gonna bring this one down here, maybe a little bit more because we're gonna run out of room. And then we're gonna do the little nose little nose. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the double eye with the with the baby, but we're going to do 
a single eye at least. I'm gonna go that way, up. And I'm gonna try to do a little single eye, but you want it small, the eye. It's gonna be really hard to see, but you'll be able to see in the picture. So to make that eye smaller, tug it and pinch it a bit. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller. Let's give it a little pinch there here okay and just that and it's very hard to get detail in this little the little one but we're going to try so there you'll see it more in the picture if this is too high we can always move this one down a bit and then we want to do the ears so we're going to just hold this here and bend it straight up to do the ears. Yeah, if we had, if we were making this bigger, it would be much easier, that's for sure. So now we're gonna do the ears. So just bring this one, like the mom, just bring this to the back and then bend this up again. Bend this one up again. Push that, and then we're gonna do the other one down here. Let's get that, bring that one there. So there's the ears, and then bring this one out and down. So this, if you guys can see it, this is the little baby. Uh, let's just move this. So there's the little baby. And then now we have to go across and finish off the little, um, let's see how we're going to do that. If we bring this one here. We're just going to have to bring this one around. It has to go right over to here. Uh, I'm just looking at the picture and then we're going to Bring this one across. We can maybe just do a straight line across. You could wiggle it around to form the shape, like to, to echo the shape of what's there, but I don't mind having that little line across there. I think it's not too bad. So we're gonna bring this one here. And we probably could have maybe done the tail down there. I'm not quite sure if I like how the tail was done or not. We're gonna see. So there's the little baby, and then we have to just figure out how we're going to attach it together. Because I could just attach it there, but then we need to figure out how to attach this one. That's always the fun part. So you know what I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it simple and attach it over here on this side and wind it around. So we're just gonna bring it here, wind it around. Maybe I'll get these pliers, give it a little push in there, okay? So, and you can even wind it around a couple of times if it's easier to hold it in place. And we'll bring this one around again. Okay, we're gonna bring that one around again. And then we'll just clip it. All right. Uh, clip this one. Uh, let's get right in there. Okay, so that's that one. And we're just gonna make sure it's in the right position here. Let me just check that. So there's that. That one will go more up. Uh, this has to go down a bit more. Let me just try it. Yeah, if we push it down a little bit more, it might be better. So that's one side with the little baby. And then this side, see the baby should have maybe gone up a little bit further. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually rotate this spring a little bit more just to bring it over to the left side a little more. I'm gonna flip it, take this and just rotate it a little bit just to bring the baby a little closer to that side a little bit more because otherwise it's she's going to be a little bit wide. So there it is. You're going to see it much better in the photo, but that shows you a little bit. 
and we're just going to bring this one around and then we have to figure out how to finish this side so maybe we should just finish it over here rather than trying to bring it down again although it might be good to bring it down again let me just see if we brought it around here i'm just going to see what that looks like with a double line because i'm not quite sure if i want a double line there or not it might be interesting because then it looks like it's not just the pocket it's the it's the um the body as well so let's just put a double line there and then maybe maybe bring it across the back okay i'm going to try that so i'm going to take that bring this one across the back straight across and then attach it on that side because i want it attached one on either side just to make it look a little bit more even we can always bring this one in a little bit more and we can adjust it how we want. So that goes there and that goes there. And then we want to finish it on this side and I might have to put it through where the tail was. And we could have always done the tail after, but I've already done the tail. So I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna go with this and bring it through where that tail is here and make sure that's lined up. So I will take this one, I'm going to bring it around a little bit. There. And then this one up here. And bring that one around through here. And down. So now we've got a double spring like we did on the other side. We could have maybe attached it in the corner of the pocket. I didn't really think about that, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna pull this one a little bit more just to tighten it up. And that should be pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna clip it, okay. Now, we're going to clip this one here. Perfect. So we have, it's pretty well done. We just have to do a few little adjustments. So let's take this one, pinch it in a bit. And this one, pinch it in a bit. And then just some of these, See, this one is loose, that's the issue. So I probably should have attached, it's kind of interesting, see that's loose there, but it looks good. So I guess I could have like, when I wound it around, caught it into that little corner to hold it in place. But I don't mind how it looks like that. So if you're making, for a sun catcher, it's okay, but if you're making jewelry, you might want to attach that little corner like that so it doesn't come undone, but that is the idea. So let me bring it up to show you guys up close to see what it looks like. And then we might have time to do one more. So here's, here's the kangaroo with the little baby, so cute. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then you'll see it better in the picture when I post a picture. So now let's do one more. So we have this, let's maybe use the rose gold. Let's see what we have here. Rose gold is a little soft. What have we got here? We've got silver. I'm just gonna see what other wires we have because I also have a brown and I have an antique one. Let me just see, there's, uh, this one is nice. Okay, this one's nice. Is this an antique brass? Let's use that one and see how we do from there so now we are going to just do this let me know if you guys are still in the chat and i'm going to cut some of this brass and we're going to go from there so let me cut i don't know 20 inches or something we're just going to open this up cut a decent piece and I'm just gonna cut that one. I'm just gonna check over here to 
see what's going on. Okay, we're good. So, good. Amber, you can message me if there's a problem with the chat because I'm not seeing any chat stuff coming in. So you, got, you can let me know. And let's do one more. So either like this type of one or that type of one, uh, something simple. So we've done side views. We could try to do the full on view like that as well. Maybe this one. They're similar, they're similar. I'm gonna try that one, I think. Um, where do I wanna finish it off? That's the question. I'll just start maybe at the head. So I'm just trying to figure out where I wanna start here. I'm gonna leave a little bit for the head and then start and work my way around. Uh, oh, you're not very chatty. Okay, you're there, good, perfect, awesome. No problem, I just, sometimes it freezes and I just wanna make sure that you guys can still hear me. So there, I'm gonna bring this one around and bring that one around here and curve this one around and just follow the template for this. So we're going to do one arm down. I'm gonna to try to keep it pretty simple. One arm down and then the other one is going to go up. So we're going to get that one. That one's going to go that way. Probably should have done a line behind that one, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring that one up and then that way and then bend that one in front and down and then form this arm. So hopefully it's going to be big enough. Just kind of winging it. So there we've got that. So there's the two arms and we can bring that one up too if we want sort of the elbow thing going on. And then back down and across. Uh, there we go. Heather, you can make anything from wire. I try, that's for sure. It's, some of these things are a real challenge, but it's definitely uh, a fun, fun, thing to try. So now we've just got the arms and we have to figure out how to do the baby. So if we take this one, we're going to leave a little bit down here. I'm not sure this is the one I meant I wanted to do, but we're going to, we're going to see. So if we have to do little ears and bring the ears back and I'm not going to do legs for this one. We're just going to do, try to keep it simple. And then we want to do little eyes. So we're just going to do this with the round pliers. Keep the eyes pretty small. And then the nose straight down. Yeah, this is going to be very, very simple. And then we're going to do the other eye here. Bring it to the, actually, I think we still need to bring it to the back. So I usually like to alternate the direction I bring the wire for the eyes, but that's okay, we'll just do it this way. Around here and up. Oopsies, I don't wanna pinch the wire. That way and then that way. And we're not really using any beads with these ones, but we could do some designs with beads too. That might be cute. So we're gonna bring this one around here so there's just the little baby's head. It's very, very stylized. And from there, I want to, what do I want to do? So we've got that one there. And if we're going to bring this one, hmm, and maybe I'll just bring this one down here and then down this way. And then we're going to form the foot or the legs. We're going to bring this one up and around and then bring this one probably to the front. I'm going to bring that one here. I actually did a kangaroo a few years ago. There's a coffee shop that we go to downtown. I can link up their website so you can see the logo, but I did their logo out of wire and um, I've since seen that logo elsewhere. So I don't 
think it's a copyrighted logo. I've seen it several places before, but it's a very stylized picture of a kangaroo. And I've seen it on clip art sites before too, but it's, um, I couldn't find, I couldn't find the one that I'd made, but I'll try to post a picture of it in the community section to show you guys. So it's Cafe Lally, if you Google it, uh, L-A-L-I. And um, I haven't been there in a long time, but it was a really nice coffee shop downtown. So we're gonna bring this one around and let us, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one here, I think, just the front one. I'm not sure I'm gonna do both of the legs or not. I might just do the front one. So we're gonna just see, we're gonna bring that one here and then do the foot. I don't know how co cohesive this design is gonna be. We're gonna see. I'm gonna bring this one here. I mean, sometimes these things don't work as well as others. It's really hard to predict sometimes. We're gonna bring this one here and straight across. So that's the foot. And then over here, we're gonna bring it around to form the back of the foot and around. Okay, so this is what we have so far. There's just one foot though. I could have done two. I'm just not sure if it's too late to do two or not. I could maybe do two. Let's just see what would happen if we did one here. Might or not, might not work. We can just try it. We'll do one behind. It'll be very stylized. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But sometimes you just don't know. So I'm going to bring that over here, over here. I just kind of like the idea of them, them being two legs, even if it's slightly hidden and quite stylized. So we're going to bring that one around here and up. And then for this part, Looks a bit like a hot mess, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one up and then we're gonna bring this one down to form the tail across here. Uh, oh, we have a few more people. Hi, Daniel and hi, Jan. Nice to see you from Wales. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna bring this one around here. So it's later there. I think it's six hours later there. I'm gonna bring this one around. Okay, so we have this, looks a little funny. The arms look definitely a little funny, but that's okay. We're just gonna play around with this. And this comes around here and we're gonna do the ears. So up, that way, up, and then this way, here. And then this one too, let's try to get the shape of this down pat. We're going to bring this one on here and make sure I'm on the screen. Bring this one up here and that one around here. Around here and from here, what's the best way to do this? We're going to bring this one around here and up and then I just have to figure out the best way to do this face because mm, 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 maybe we'll just go ahead and follow what I did there and then we'll go, we'll figure it out. So we're gonna bring this one down and down and then that one can come up. This more is a little bit more like a curve thing and then we can form the other ear. Not even sure I made these ears big enough, maybe. I'm gonna bring this here, here, and here. And then we're gonna bring that one out. So we have the ears, they're pretty cute. There's the ears. And then we wanna bring this down and follow this a little bit. So let's do one eye here to the back, bring it around form the eye, and then we want to form, we can even make a more of a pointy nose because like the baby has a pretty pointy nose. Why don't we just do it similar? I don't know how accurate that is, but 
I kind of like the idea of doing it similar to the baby. So rather than do that nose that's starting to look like a cow, we're gonna do one like this that looks more like the baby. So we're gonna bring this one up, attach just that, and then I'm gonna do this one again to the back. I probably should have done the first one to the front because now I see where I'm going with this. Sometimes it's good to go do the wire one way and then the other, but now I realize I was gonna clip it there, but rather than that, I'm gonna finish it at the top. So we're gonna do that. A cow, yeah, a cow kangaroo. Hey, Randy, and uh, how are you? Hi, John. Wow, we have a few people on now, awesome. So we're gonna bring this one around and bring this one up to the top. And Randy, I don't know if you saw the first two, but I will show those shortly. So there's the little mommy's head. And if you wanna finish it at the top, a good way to do it is we're just gonna bring this one around and then I'm gonna bend this one up at an angle. Okay, so that's gonna be the top where we make our loop. And this one we have to figure out because now she looks, whoa, she looks like she's pregnant again. So we don't need that for mama. Let's figure this out, how we can get this shape proper. So this would go here like that. And then this one looks like it's good, but I feel like it's too wide. So let's just adjust that a bit. And then we can always adjust it here. So let's figure this out. I'm just looking at how that one looks. We're gonna bring this one, cause the idea would be you wanna bring, this is gonna come in behind and then around there. These arms are funny. Uh, yeah, let me just see what we're doing here, how I can adjust this. This can also go a little bit that away and that away, and then this, because you want her maybe to have a slightly longer neck, although in the picture, there's not much of a neck, but I think it looks better when there's maybe a little bit more of a neck thing happening. So we can bring that one out there. I think it's all right. I feel like there's something wrong, but I'm not quite sure. That's a little better. Sometimes it's just like a little position can make all the difference. So let's compare that one again. That's pretty close. So we're gonna do that. And now we're going to bend this around, curve it around to attach it to that center wire. So that gets curved around. And then we're gonna start the bend with our round pliers to help it out. Cut my wire way too long again. And now we can hold that and wind it around a couple of times. Now you could put a bead at the top if you want. I'm gonna just clip that baby. We'll use this piece for something else. And I am going to give that one a pinch. That looks good. And then I'm just going to Maybe bend this one way. I'm not gonna put a bead on this one. I think I'm gonna leave it plain. So we're gonna bend that to the side. Life is good. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That sounds warmer than where we're at. I'm not sure what Fahrenheit is in Celsius, but we're about zero uh, Celsius today. So that's still chilly. It's not horrible for March, but it's still a little bit chilly. And we are going to clip that one over here and pinch those ends in. And that turned out pretty well. I actually like it. The feet are a little funny, but that's okay. Maybe we can separate the feet a little bit or put one, position one a little further down so you actually see them. They're not awful. And then there's the make sure we can see the baby. You might have to move that one a little bit so we can see the head of the baby, spread that out a little bit. And then this one, 
that, yeah, this arm, the front arm, I could have done a little bit bigger. Definitely could have done the, the front arm a little bit bigger. But you, I mean, kangaroos don't have huge arms either, right? So, so there, so, yeah, I'll put these templates in the description. I'll put a photo of these in the community section. So here we have this mummy with the baby, which is super cute. Let's just get this adjusted a bit. Sometimes it's just in the little adjustments. So there's that one. I like that one actually. And there's the more cartoony one. Let me bring these up closer maybe so you guys can see. Okay. Oh, I love it. Looks like Kelly. Oh, actually I was thinking, that's so funny because I was thinking I was going to do a whole live stream about um, chihuahuas. So we'll definitely do that soon. I've done some before, but we can do them again. So here are our kangaroos. Let me know which is your favorite. There we go. Let's get closer. Kelly looks like a Joey. That's so funny. Can you guys see these? Yeah, there we go. So let me know which is your favorite one. And then I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. I'll put a picture in the community section and let me flip the screen. My hair is still wet. I washed it three hours ago and it's still wet. So guys, there, wet hair. It's all right. There we go. So thank you so much for hopping on. I'm going to do a smile for the thumbnail there and we will see you guys Saturday for another project and all different styles. The one on the left, cool, awesome, 31 degrees, that's way too warm. So thank you guys for all your great feedback. Thanks for hopping on. Sharon's there, I didn't even see you Sharon. Nice to see you very briefly, gotta, gotta head off now. So have a great rest of the day, a great night and uh, we'll see you guys the next time. And Amber, thank you so much for moderating the chat and in advance for the timestamps, take your time with that. And so if you guys want to know where to go for each design, uh, Amber always takes great notes and we'll, we'll put that in the description of the video. So have an amazing day and we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.